we're here at uh, Burton Albion Football Club here in Burton. We are here this morning to hear from the CAB. We're going to be interviewing a few people uh, that are actually launching a new directive and uh, it's a grant that they've received, a £350,000 grant from the National Lottery. We're here, Pat, at the launch of the Ales Advice Service. And this is a, a, an organisation that's been set up to advise the most vulnerable people in our community in Burton and Utoxeter to help them access the services and the, the welfare that they need. And it's been uh, coordinated by um, East Staff's CAB, the Citizens Advice Bureau, and I'm the president of that. And the aim is that it makes a, we set up a one-stop shop for people who need help and support, be it with benefits or housing and needs like that. We're very lucky, Pat, in East Staffordshire that there are some 800 voluntary organisations, all doing really good work in our communities, helping some of the most needy and vulnerable people in our society. But, you know, just imagine if you're a, a person trying to access those services, say you're um, a, a single mum, you might need to go and talk to the CAB for some legal advice, you might need to go and talk to the YMCA, you might need to talk to Trent and Dove about your housing or the benefits agency. There's lots of different organisations that you need to go and talk to and that can be really confusing for anybody to navigate that, that maze of services at a time particularly when you might be at your most vulnerable and your most worried. So the idea about the Ailes service is that it acts as a one-stop shop. There'll be one telephone number that you can call and they will then help you to get in contact with all of the different organisations that can help you and get you back on track. I'm Dawn Green, Chief Executive of East Staffordshire Citizens Advice Bureau. I'm also the Project Manager for Advice Links East Staffordshire. It's a new project funded by the Big Lottery. We're awarded 350000 and the aim for that project is to transform the way advice is accessed across East Staffordshire. We launched the project today um, at the Parrelly Stadium. The purpose of the launch is to tell people what we want to do. We want to develop a single telephone service, um, a website, an email service, text messaging. And we want to roll that out to everybody that needs advice in East Staffordshire. We recognise that there are problems for people in distress or in crisis accessing the right services at the right time. Often they'll only deal with the presenting problem by going to one service. We want to take that distress away from them by um, putting this one number, this one access point in place and we'll do the referral service for them, making sure that they get all the support and advice that they need at that right time. Um, we aim to develop the telephone service um, in time for a launch in January the 6th and soon after that, January the 14th, we would aim to have the website being launched as well. We have uh, currently some challenges ongoing and that is to recruit volunteers and then train them in time for that launch but we're on target for that. We've recruited a full staff team, they're now in post and very excited and enthusiastic to roll this out. Will there be a legal part of it? We will provide the legal advice that they require through the CAB, our normal service. They won't come through the normal route, which would be to access our um, generic services that exist in East Staffordshire. They will come through this Ailes um, project. And this, the, uh, so that people out in Burton and uh, South Derbyshire and Utoxia know, um, you're going to have a new symbol, I believe. Yes, we've, we've developed a new logo. Um, it's, it looks like uh, two paper clips joined together. The purpose of that is to, to replicate the uh, links. So we link in the advice service providers in East Staffordshire. The, the name Ailes came from Advice Links East Staffordshire. We, and then we recognised soon after that, really pleased, that it actually um, represents the brewing heritage of Burton. So really, really pleased with it. And we also want to link that into the welfare reforms that are rolling out now. We recognise that there are going to be some pressures on people and some changes for people. We want to help them be ready for that so that, as well as you say, re re recovering from the recession, making sure that recover from all that's happening at the moment. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. I've got, I'm here with Steve and Keith from Crescent Motor Company. Um, I understand you've got a unique opportunity here for, uh, for the local CAB? Yes, we have indeed. Um, having supported CAB for a good many years now in various, um, uh, various different ways with fundraising, 
it just seemed a natural thing to do when we took delivery of our new courtesy cars to, uh, to use them as a, a, a tool to raise funds for the CAB. So what we decided was that uh, every customer that took one of the courtesy cars, they were invited to make a voluntary donation. Three pounds is a suggested figure, but it, it varies. There's a lot of notes gone into the tin, which is great. So uh, um, I'm quite confident that over a 12 month period, it will raise a significant amount of money. And at that point, I'd like to bring in Dawn. Morning, Hello. Dawn. Good morning. Um, obviously, you've, uh, you've, you've acquired this uh, extra special uh, way of fundraising, which is quite, quite unique, quite different. It's, it's very different. I think a lot of people don't recognize that the Citizens Advice Bureau firstly is a charity uh, and we're very pleased that Crescent Motors do recognise the good work that uh, our volunteers and our staff do and also that they fulfil their corporate social responsibility which most businesses are looking into but perhaps haven't been so innovative as Crescent Motors. Yeah and uh, I mean there is the tax relief as well isn't there? Um, yes, I believe there is. Um, that's something perhaps that Steve could answer. I don't know the details yes. of that. <laughs> yes, and I think uh, I think a lot of companies aren't aware, you know, that no, they can they get don't. a tax relief if they uh, if they donate or get involved in local um, voluntary communities. Yes. And uh, obviously, these two guys here, Keith and Steve, they've uh, capped into it, and it's the benefit of people that are going to benefit from this. Absolutely, yeah. We'll be putting um, the donations to good use and making sure that we're offering more advice that's much needed in this community. Right, well there you have it. We've uh, had quite an insight this morning into uh, what the future holds for Burton and uh, surrounding areas. You've heard from your MP, you've heard from okay, well, the back, managing everybody. director. We wish them well. Hopefully we hope that uh, you, the general public, will be able to uh, assist uh, or get assistance when okay, you so need that's it. The morning. Uh, we've talked about